guys, Cruise Man here, and today I'm going to reinstall the uh, lower, uh, it's the exhaust cover. Uh, in part one, we removed these, we took all the rubber pieces off, we uh, sanded it, primed it, did a little body work. We had a lot of big dings right here uh, from rocks that had come up. We had a lot of scratches along here, as you can see now. Uh, the piece looks almost brand new. It's, uh, it's been painted with three coats of paint, metallic paint. <clears throat> it was wet sanded. We shot three coats of clear. Uh, again, wet sanded, uh, polished it out, buffed it out, and I mean, it, the clear coat, it just, you know, this is much better than stock. They don't go to that trouble. So now we're gonna reinstall this, and I'm gonna, uh, you've got these, I'm not gonna put the belly pan on right now. I wanna stop for a second and let you know. I'm gonna do that in a later video where we'll show how to put on the Tulsa belly pan because that's a good video in and of itself for people who just bought a new bike. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get to work on this. Uh, what's involved, for those of you that have never done this, there is there are a couple of little <clears throat> uh, receivers back here for little rubber tabs to fit in. And so there's another one up here on top, so you have to push this in back and then pull it up, and that kind of holds it in place and lets you put in the mounting bolt. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go through that process right now. Okay, before we actually mount this uh, cover to the bike, we have to reinstall the cable uh, that's used to open and close the foot warmer door on this cover. And so that's a fairly easy process. There's just one, I'm sorry, one little nut that holds this down to this bracket here. And the cable uh, fits in here. I'll show you how we do that. Okay, we've got the uh, cowl back on, or I should say the, the exhaust cover back on. And man, I gotta tell you, this thing looks better than new. This is absolutely, I'm, I am so happy with how it turned out. Uh, I'm happy with the paint, I'm happy with the, the polishing. I'm just happy with the whole deal. I've, and I think you'll see, uh, you know, when you look at this, even from underneath the bike, you know, it doesn't look like it's ever been ridden. Plus, if you go back here, you see the brand new chrome, uh, piece from Honda. Uh, I had some rock dings and chips in the old one. I replaced it with a brand new chrome piece. So, you know, whoever buys this bike is really getting uh, an amazing uh, uh, piece of equipment that's just been really restored very nicely. Almost, you know, almost looks like it came off the showroom. Today we're going to reinstall our <clears throat> cowl, the front cowl of the bike, which has been painted polished, sanded and polished, it's ready to go back on the bike. And before I do that, the first step I'm gonna do, in fact, this is the last piece of the puzzle. Once we have the cowl back on, bike's ready to ride. Um, but before we get into mounting the cowl, I'm gonna show you how we do that. Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see back here, but there's a lot of dirt, you know, just from road grime and dirt that collects on the parts underneath this cowl. Uh, this is a great opportunity to get a, a damp microfiber cloth or a sponge and clean everything up really good before we put it back together. So let's do that now. Okay, what I want to do is show you kind of a quick, easy way of getting this front cowl back on the bike. One of the things, especially since we just painted this and spent God knows how many hours painting this thing, you don't want to get it scratched. So I've laid a nice towel down underneath the bike. I have the cowl laid face down on the towel. And the reason is, this is a, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this cowl up from the bottom 
and it will slide right through this little area between the, the rear fender <clears throat> and the front of the bike. Uh, if you try to work it in sideways, the cowl is so thick, uh, it's going to get bumped and possibly scratched or scarred up. So the easiest way to actually do this is to bring it from the bottom and then slowly flip it up into position. Before we do that, the first thing we want to do is we're going to hook up the wires that go to the driving lights. So those are all hooked up and ready to go. hanging here right now. Uh, I've put the top part of the cowl underneath the black plastic piece here and I'm just the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in these two little black pop rivets uh, that will hold it in place enough to where we can get it all buttoned up and get the, the bolts in. I've got the, the lights hooked up and now it's time to get the uh, cowl fastened.